Maya Tablanza was born May 1, 1981, in the Philippines. Her father named her Maya for being born on the first day of May. She is the fifth out of six kids in the family and a bright light to all of her cousins and her family. Her father was a humble laborer and her mom stayed home raising the children. Maya was a sweet child. When she started grade school, she was top in her class. Her sister Mary Chris remembers how Maya easily memorized pages of her school books and had a photographic memory. Maya always focused on her academics while also participating in extracurricular activities like singing and dancing. She received multiple awards at the end of the sixth grade. When Maya was about 13 years old, her family moved to the state of Hawaii. They had waited years to come to America to start a new life. As one can imagine, coming from such humble beginnings, the opportunity to live in the United States was exciting for her family. Maya started high school, which was located across the street from her new home in Hawaii. She had made the most of what America has to offer. Maya excelled in high school and focused on her schoolwork, while also staying busy with after-school activities and spending time with friends. But life in America, specifically in Hawaii, was difficult for this family in the beginning. The family of eight, six kids and their parents stayed with Maya's uncle in a one-bedroom apartment for the first few months. Then the family was able to share a two-bedroom apartment, but it was still cramped for eight people. They lived in that small Hawaiian home for eight years. While Maya was sort of a tomboy, she also loved to dress up and attend her high school's formal homecoming dances. Maya graduated from Radford High School in 1999 with honors. It was a great time in her life. Her family says she always dreamed of becoming a lawyer. Maya met Larry Meliette while in high school, although he attended a different school. Maya and Larry married on May 21, 2000, when Maya was 19 years old. Maya attended the University of Hawaii for a few years, and Larry enlisted in the U.S. Navy, completing his training in Virginia. The couple eventually moved to San Diego. Maya completed her college education and graduated with honors from the University of California, San Diego with a degree in international studies. After graduation, she worked at a law office and eventually became a contract specialist for the U.S. Navy. Maya always wanted to become a mom, but she wanted to wait to be able to financially provide for her children. The couple were married for 10 years before she had her first baby. Maya was so excited to become pregnant. 
The couple has two girls, ages 11 and 8, and a four-year-old son. The children are Maya's pride and joy. At this time, the couple had moved to Marietta, California. This was their home. Maya was a doting mother and enjoyed volunteering at her children's schools. She loved her girls and dressed them alike, even though they are three years apart. She loved her plan her children's birthday parties and was very close to her five siblings and her parents. She came from a tight-knit family who always supported one another. Maya has close friends from grade school and high school and was well-liked by co-workers who said she treated everyone on her team with equal respect. Maya's love of nature and the outdoors led her to enjoy hiking. About a dozen years ago, before she and Larry had their kids, the couple took a trip to the Grand Canyon in Arizona. Over the last year or more, Maya was planning her upcoming 40th birthday celebration, an overnight camping trip in the Grand Canyon with her three closest friends. She talked about the plan for months and started physically training for the challenging adventure. Since she was young, Maya was playing guitar. Her love of life can be heard and felt through her love of music. I know 
love you, hate it. When I leave the light on, I pick up a cup and turn the sheets down, and then I take a deep breath and a good look around. Put on my PJs and hop into bed. I'm half alive, but I feel mostly dead. And I try to tell myself it'll all be alright. I shouldn't think anymore. For me.